Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing and doing some lip swatches of the brand new Alamar Cosmetics Nude Lip Collection. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on these and seeing all of the beautiful colors, then just keep watching. are subscribed to my channel you know that I love Almar Cosmetics. I basically purchase everything that they come out with and I do like to do a review on them. Almar is a woman-owned company based in Miami and I just think the releases of the brand are really fun and unique and that is why I love purchasing everything from the brand. This collection, Gabby, the owner, she released a nude collection. In the collection there are two lip liners and then four nude lip glosses. Each lip liner retails for $12 and each lip gloss retails for $15. You can buy these on the Elmar Cosmetics website right now. One thing I would like to talk about the price is that Elmar recently did release these glosses. They're called the Mother of Pearl glosses. These were only $10 whereas the nude lip glosses are $15. So that is a big price jump. Now these actually were not made in the USA. I believe these were made in China. These guys were made in the USA which I'm always here for paying a little bit more for products being made in the USA. So the packaging of these guys are super cute. You can kind of see the color in the bottom because they do have an ombre fade. Now I will say it's kind of hard to tell. It's not not really that clear but I just love this packaging I think it is super cute now with the mother of pearl glosses I mean these are adorable so this is a whole different vibe the lip pencils are quite simple they just have basically all around monochromatic packaging based on the color that they are so online the description is oh she thick <laughs> they offer a high shine with medium coverage hydrating and ultra long lasting glosses stick around for a good time and a long time what is very super unique about these is the applicator. So actually the applicator in these, one side is silicone and the other side is a sponge. So basically you use the silicone side to get the product out and get a lot of product on your lips. And then you have the sponge side to really spread it out. Now I'm not gonna lie, at first I really didn't notice the difference, but once I did become more mindful of that application step, I think it really did help. At first I was just applying it with whatever side, not realizing one with silicone and one with sponge and it applied fine but I do think if you take advantage of what the applicator has to give it is going to help with that application a little bit. So formulation wise yes these are definitely extremely thick glosses they are a little bit more sticky so if you have the mother of pearl glosses I'm telling you right now these are complete different formulas. I noticed no correlation between the two at all, to be honest. Basically the complete opposite. These are not sticky on the lips at all. They're very, very sheer and feel light on the lips. These are the opposite. They're very pigmented, they're very thick, and they do have some stick to them. I think there's a time and a place for each different formula. I think both formulas are good, but they're very different formulas and it just depends on your mood. So I'm not saying one formula is better than the other. For my personal preferences, I would say a formula like these are better in the summer. They sold out of these and they're done. I think that these are more appropriate for the winter formulation wise, but I mean you can wear these any time of the year that you want. I just know for wearing light summer makeup, this is something that I would grab for more often. But that being said, I, I think I like these lip glosses more. So I did have one issue with the packaging. Um, two of these actually, the stoppers did come off. And if you don't know, the stoppers is what basically allows you to have a certain amount of product on the applicator. As you can see, See, that was very clean look at this very very messy now I don't know if this is true uh, this is my theory but I think that the reason the stopper came off of two of them is because this lip gloss formula is so thick and sticky that it's coming up with the applicator and it's just so thick that it actually ends up pulling up the stopper as well now I'm not sure if that really is what happened but I'm pretty sure that amount of thickness and stickiness is what it's pulling it up. It's just so much product coming up at once that it comes off with the top. I'm not that mad about it. Sometimes it just happens with lip products. Uh, it's not a big deal to me. Uh, it does make application a lot more messy. It makes a big difference in the application. It does make it a lot more easy when the stopper is there. Also, let's talk about the formula of these lip liners. I do really like these. They are very nice and creamy. The formula is supposed to be long lasting and water resistant. I do agree with that I really like these a lot. I think they deposit 
a lot of pigment and they glide across the skin super easily. Now when they are a more creamy formula, you do have to sharpen them much more often. It makes it harder to get a more defined line as opposed to a more waxy lip liner formula and I'm all for both. It just depends on what you want. If I really want to reshape the lips, I'm not going to go for these. I'm going to go for a more waxy formula but these are really great because you can put them all over the lips and they stay comfortable throughout the day. Sometimes the waxy ones can be a little bit more drying on the lip. These are great to wear as an all over lip color if you want to as well. I mean these are super easy to apply and with the darker color Coquetta, oh my gosh it is so dark. It deposits such an opaque amount of color with just lightly lining the lips and without putting much pressure on. So I am impressed with these. They do seem to last a long time. I kind of wish there was an in-between color because this one is quite light on my complexion. It is like a shade darker than my actual lip color, which I do really, really enjoy. Don't get me wrong. This is Dolce, by the way. I think it's beautiful, but it's just this color is also so dark on me uh, that I feel like having a kind of in the middle color would have been perfect, but I do like the lip liners. So I'm going to show you the colors and talk about each of the colors individually. First color that we have here is Trula. This is the one that is on my lips right now. This is the lightest one in the collection. I wore it with Dolce lip liner. Now this color is a light peach nude. I really, really like it. As you can see, there's a good amount of pigmentation. Now this one was the one that had no topper, so I did use my finger to spread it, but I really like this. This has very nice coverage for being such a light color, and I love a good nude. The nuder the nude, the better. So I'm loving this one. If you have light skin tones, this is the one you're going to want to go for. The next shade that we have is Dolce or Dolce de Leche. This is probably my favorite of the four because it's not the lightest, but it's definitely not the darkest. This is the perfect nude. This is a very neutral nude with peach undertones, and I really like peachy nudes. Those are kind of my favorite, so that's why I lean towards this one the most. This, again, had that topper off, so I did have to use my fingers, but I really love this one because it does add color to my face without being too nude or too dark light skin tones you are also really going to like this and with the darker lip liner medium to deep skin tones this is going to look fantastic on you too coquetta is the second to darkest color in the line this is described as a caramel nude with pe neutral peach undertones now i think this one is probably the most universally flattering color if we're talking on a full range of skin tones on me as you can see it is a little bit darker but it's still very flattering and still very wearable and i think with the right lip liner this is going to look good on up to deep dark skin tones as well medium skin tones this is like the perfect nude for you i really like this i like how this is caramely i really see that caramel but it still is peachy these first three colors have more of a peachy undertone to them which i personally really like so i like this color a lot now this last one divina is the darkest color of the floor i wore it with the darker lip liner this is a chocolate nude with warm undertones i would say that this is very very warm and as you can see it's very very dark on my pale skin tone but this is perfect if you have deep dark skin deep skin i love the range that she chose i love that she went this dark with the nudes uh, because there really is a color for everybody um and this color will work on everybody i know for me it's not my cup of tea i don't really wear dark deep chocolate colors like this on myself but i really like it i can kind of see a more mahogany undertone to it so if you don't like that it might not be your favorite but i think this one's very nice this one i would call high coverage i think the lightest coverage is coquetta i feel like this one's the most sheer but it's still medium coverage but the davina is full coverage really beautiful i think this is a really awesome color so i haven't talked about the wear time on these yet. These do have a long wear time on them because they are so thick, full coverage, and a little bit on this more sticky side. They last a good long time for a gloss. I'm very impressed. Now these are kind of a give and take formula because you know what? I know some people don't really like thick sticky glosses but if you want the coverage and you want the lasting power that's what's going to happen so they're less comfortable than a light sheer gloss overall i'm really liking this collection i think that the lip liners they work beautifully i do think maybe they're a touch too creamy but that's just for me personally because i like shaping the lips out a lot and the ease of these and how comfortable they are and how you can put them all over the lips i think is great as far as the glosses go i also think these are great i love her color range all 
Olimar really thinks about everybody and you can tell that in their previous collections which I think is awesome so yeah this has a great range of nudes they're more peachy warm toned so you're not getting pinky nudes in this collection but I just I love the colors that she chose I think they're great I think they're pretty good for the price $15 is up there I guess for a lip gloss you're investing in a good company good products so I do think that these are worth the $15 if you can find a color that you really love so anyways that's all I have for this video today guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it helpful let me know if you will be picking these up and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys have a good one